Hi, this is Mark Mancini with VRB Outstanding. This week's episode is on lemmings and unicorns, so stay tuned. So welcome back this week. Now this week's episode may sound a little odd, lemmings and unicorns, but it pertains to the real estate and especially short term rentals. So first, let's talk about what we mean. A lemming is actually a real creature. Many of you have seen the cartoons or video games where these creatures will follow each other, often over a cliff to their death. Okay. Lemmings, um, they don't, they're not differentiable. They all look the same and they kind of follow each other and, and there's no real special unique feature about them. They're lemmings. Now, a unicorn is a mythological creature and it's a rare creature, right? No one's ever seen one, obviously, but in Greek mythology, it was a rare creature, a horse with a horn coming off of its head. And many of you have seen this flamboyant ones with the different color ones. Well, they're the rare pieces of real estate. So let's talk about both of them. But before we even talk about them, I want to remind you at the end of this video is going to be a code. Our course VRB outstanding is going to drop from $795 to $199 for the first person who puts that code in. So stay tuned towards the end of that episode for that. Now, we're going to do a high-level overview of lemmings and unicorns and how they pertain to real estate. I know people who have purchased a dozen condos in the Myrtle Beach area and used them as short-term rentals, and they've done very well. Now, they've done well with these condos because they bought them at market lows. You see, condos really have to be purchased when the market is at the absolute lowest. You should also buy your homes at a market low, not at a market apex, but with condos, it's even more important because they don't appreciate in value as much or as high as a home can. Now, the other thing about condos is for the most part, they're almost all the same, all the rooms inside each condo. Now, each condo, and if you're familiar with Myrtle Beach, there's hundreds, if not thousands of these condos, and each one, uh, is a little bit different. Some may have a lazy river, some are directly on the ocean, some have an indoor pool, some have an outdoor pool, some have both, and so forth. There's different amenities each of the different hotels have, or condos, I should say, and they're much like hotels. Uh, oftentimes it's one or two bedrooms, but some of the condos here are three, four, and five bedrooms. But if you're in the same building as probably a couple dozen other people, who are renting out their homes as short-term rentals, sure, the interior color scheme and decor is going to be different, but there really isn't much to differentiate. Maybe one is uh, higher up on the ocean and one's lower down. Some people appreciate the higher views, but some people rather be a couple floors below, above the, uh, the floor or the beach, so that it's real quick for them to get down if they have a dog with them. So with condos, we're gonna call those lemmings. Okay, they are very much uh, the same, and you're competing for the most part on price, not amenities. That's sometimes hard to do. Another thing about lemmings is they're usually in communities where there's HOAs, for instance, a condo, or some of these homes, and I'll share with you an example. We have a home. It's, a, it's in a very small gated community. There's only eight homes in this community. It's managed by an HOA. Now, technically, all these homes are the same. They all have uh, small pools and they're about 1,900 square feet. Uh, but the outside's a little bit different. So they don't look all the same, but they're a little bit different. But there's really not a lot to differentiate us, except some of us have kayaks and paddle boards, some have bikes to rent and so forth. So we try to differentiate in other different ways. In fact, I put in an EV charger, a Tesla charger at our Heart of Murata rental. And one of my neighbors, guess what? She did the same thing. So oftentimes we're not really competing that much because of the eight homes, 
only three or four of them are short-term rentals. So I'm only competing against a couple other people. Now, we looked at another opportunity for us in the Keys. And this was another subdivision. This was on the ocean side, not on the bay side. And there were, I believe, 15 or 16 different homes. And from what I heard from the builder, because we had some money down on one of them, that all 16 were going to be rentals. And that concerned me because 16 that were built identical, now we're competing on price. And none of them had a dedicated boat slip and none of them had really anything to differentiate them except maybe they're a little closer to the ocean view. So I pulled out of that contract. I didn't think it was a good deal for us. So with condos, that is one thing you have to be careful of. Another thing with condos is that you'll want to use dynamic pricing. So whether you're using price labs or beyond pricing, something to go ahead and be able to aggressively change your pricing different times of the year based upon availability and demand so that you can better market your lemming, okay? Now, some homes can be lemmings. Let's just say you've got a three bedroom, two bath freestanding home. And in many beach areas, that's a standard typical home. A lot of people, aren't really into developing their short-term rentals, and they just provide the home. They don't provide kayaks, there's no pool, there's no bikes, there's no other amenities really to make it enticing. So they can be lemmings as well. Now, there's nothing wrong with a lemming, as I said, but it is something where price becomes more of an issue than amenities. And at VRB Outstanding, we always compete on amenities. We wanna differentiate ourselves by providing the best offering that we can. So now we're gonna talk about unicorns. I love unicorns. Unicorns are very hard to find though, okay? Now, the very first short-term rental that I purchased <laughs> was a unicorn. Uh, it was definitely different. It was a bank-owned home. It was 6,000 square feet, seven bedrooms, six bath, and had plenty of room for a large game room. We had half a dozen freestanding arcade games, a pool table, also had a pool, a hot tub, a boat lift. We added kayaks. We added um, electric uh, golf carts. And we were booked constantly. It was a great rental. And that was very unique because not only did we house a lot of people, which that is in itself a unicorn, a home that can host an extended family, okay, where you can gather 20 or 30 people on a family vacation that is a unicorn home. Now, I told you we had a boat lift there as well. We, we also added a, a fish cleaning station. You may have a three bedroom or four bedroom, two bath home, but you might be on the channel and you might have a boat lift and you might have uh, a, a fish cleaning station. So that becomes a house for an angler, okay, a fisherman. So that's where that can become a um, unicorn as well. Now, what else are unicorn homes? maybe something with an amazing view. So you may have a home that just maybe has 180, 270 degree views of the ocean. And that beautiful view with beautiful windows uh, and, and views from each of the, the beds and each of the bedrooms could in and of itself be a unicorn. One of our recent purchases about a year and a half ago, the Oasis, it's on three, three acres. It's a majestic estate. It's for the discerning traveler but we've also turned it into a, a wedding venue. And I know I've talked to some of you in the Poconos and, and other places and farm areas that have also gone and become wedding venue enthusiasts as well as short-term rental for, uh, owners. So this is something that is also a unicorn. Uh, there are also other ways you can differentiate and become a unicorn. For instance, uh, you could be uh, a unique home in an area that maybe doesn't offer many short-term rentals. Maybe you're on a lake and you're the only one that's got a ramp to put the bo your, a boat into the water, okay? So there's lots of other unicorn things. And these unicorn offerings are great because not only competing on amenities, but you're jacking up your price because you can offer something no one else can. And when you can offer something no one else can, you name your price. So this is something I want you to be aware of when you're looking at homes for your short-term rental. 
Now we're filming this, uh, it's the very end of November, and uh, it's, it's starting to get a little chilly, and this is the end of 2022. The market's starting to get a little wishy-washy. I think there's some deals to happen. So keep your eyes open for those unicorns. You'll see them. In fact, I got a phone call and, and an email from, uh, from a student, and it was one in Virginia, it was a Victorian home. It had to be 180 or so years old. It was just redone and everything, and it had a nice small lot next to it. And we were looking at not only making it a short-term rental, but a very small offering for a wedding venue. Now, the, the, there were some things that prevented her from getting the deal, but it was something where it was a unicorn and it provided extra income. Those event fees add up. So, wedding venue, fisherman and angler home, large home, gorgeous views, having a, a ramp when other people don't into the water. Different things like that will make your home a, uni a unicorn and you need to look out for those. Now, I promised you a code right here at the bottom. The very first person that enters this code at vrboutstanding.com drops the price from $795 to $199. One shot deal. Now, I appreciate you guys visiting this week and our talk about lemmings and unicorns. I know it's a very odd thing to say, but short term rentals, I'll tell you, you wanna stand out above the rest. Uh, one more thing I wanna leave you on. There is a link I'm gonna put down here. It's to a Airbnb rental in, in Atlanta, in the city of Atlanta. Now, I grew up just outside of Manhattan. To me, a city had no trees. Well, Atlanta is a city, but has lots of trees. This unique listing has it's been around for years. It's booked, I mean, constantly. It is a tree house. It is a house built in a tree in the city of Atlanta. It is so cool. So this is something where uh, it is a distinct unicorn. They charge whatever they want and they stay booked constantly because it is so unique. And it is something I want you to look at. Look at their listing, check it out, see exactly what I mean. That is one of the one-offs that you're gonna appreciate about being a short-term rental owner. Thank you for joining me this week. Don't forget, hit the like and subscribe button below. And we'll see you again next week.